is there treasure in here? I didn't even look at this one. I'm so excited. Are you ready? All right, so I went to a garage sale and they had a bunch of dolls. Some of them were priced individually. Some of them said 50 cents a piece. So I asked her for a price for all of them. And she Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. She said $15, so I'm gonna show you what I got. Really not, uh, I don't know a whole lot about any of them, so it's gonna be kind of look them up and see. This first one here, a lot of them are vintage, so this one's Mattel. I thought this one was Mattel. I don't know if that's an original outfit. It doesn't look like it, but um, I'm gonna pop up screen shares of how I listed everything, but right now we're just gonna kinda go through them and see if there's anything special here. For $15, I feel like it's worth the risk. She's got a belly button issue. Uh, is it Unida? U-N-E-E-D-A Doll Company 1966. Probably just a handmade outfit on her. She does have some cosmetic issues, but this one looks like another Mattel. Uh, doll. So these two are probably the, the same here. This, um, it says Kamar 1980, 1980 something. I don't know. We'll have to look it up, but it's just like a little rag doll. Um, let's see if this gives us love is here to stay. Love is sharing. So a little plushy. Again, no clue on this stuff. Figured I would take a chance and see if we can all learn a little bit here. This is Laura and it says Knickerbocker. That's her outfit. It says 1978 Ed Friendly Products. So I don't know if the doll is Knickerbocker or if that's the same or not. So we'll definitely be Googling her. This little gal, here's her face. Back of the neck is typically where you look. If you don't see something there, you can check the back. This is probably just um, unbranded Hong Kong little doll with a handmade outfit. This one feels, doesn't feel like a Barbie. The head feels really uh, inexpensive. No markings. See, you can tell it's just a real cheap plastic. And I don't see any markings on her at all. We need to pull her pants up. Her little piney's hanging out there. This here, she's cute. I bought a bunch of dolls at another garage sale and I've sold one of them, but the rest are just hanging out for now. U-D-C-O-I-N-G, never heard of that. Google Lens might find some of these. This looks like strawberry shortcake, but I am not certain. Um, AGC, American Greeting Cards, Hallmark, 1984. I smelled it. It does not smell like a strawberry shortcake, so Google Lens may help me with that one as well. Uh, this looks like, I think I've sold these before. What are they called? Um, peewees maybe? I could be wrong. Um, made in Hong Kong. I want to say maybe the foot. Nope. Okay, I might be wrong. I was thinking it was a peewee. P-E-E-W-E-E. -E -E -E. But I could be wrong. I haven't sold a whole lot of them. I think this one is strawberry shortcake too. And she is super, super cute. Have to check her out. This one kind of looks like, um, maybe just another Hong Kong. Definitely vintage and fun. You know, it's a great way to learn when you buy things in bulk like this. It's very educational. Okay, so this one says Unita Doll Company, Baby Pee Wee. See? Baby Pee Wee, I was right, but. This one doesn't say Baby Pee Wee. That's weird, they look very similar, right? 
so I don't know. And they've both got that line on their belly. I think they're both peewee dolls, but this one is jointed and this one is not. So maybe, I don't know. Look how the, it's like the head's a different color. This one, or oh, arm moves. If you guys see anything and you know what it is, feel free to drop it in the comments. I will probably have everything listed by the time I post this. 1964, I can't read what it says. Remco? Remco. This one's got a lot of discoloration happening. So again, when you buy in bulk lots like this, um, I could have just cherry picked the ones I wanted. It may have been cheaper, may not have. I don't know what, it, I didn't add it up beforehand. I just asked her how much for everything. This one is Hong Kong SL. I don't know what SL is, but you can see here, it's got these little marks on it. So that's probably not gonna come out. Um, I'm not really sure what that is called, but you see it on Barbie dolls sometimes. So we'll leave that one to the side. This is definitely another Mattel. I recognize the outfit. I think I had this doll when I was a kid. I recognize this little dress. This look at this little cutie. A lot of these are just gonna be bread and butter and they'll probably take a long time to sell, um, but some of them may be good and may sell quickly. So 15 bucks, I feel like I can, uh, I can take the risk here. This one says Playmate. So any markings on them, that's gonna help you figure out who they are. Look at this one. Oh, hello. Um, let's see what, nothing there. Let me get the tag off here. This is definitely an old snap, vintage snap. Oh, I can't get it. Ooh, I don't like the feel of that on my finger. It says Hong Kong. Um, evergreen, evergreen? Never heard of that. She is smiling away. Look at them teeth. This is another peewee doll, I do believe. Hong Kong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all peewees. Probably lot those up. They don't, typically, I, if I remember, they're just a bread and butter. Um, look at this little outfit. How cute is that? Hong Kong. No other markings, just Hong Kong. Makeup looks good. Look at this little guy. It's cute, right? No markings. I just can't get over that smile right there. Look at that. And she's like, ooh, I wonder if she has a pacifier. Another made in Hong Kong. This is another Mattel, I do believe. Look at that little outfit. That is so stinking cute. Look at this little girl. Look at her face. She's cute. Um, this one says, oh, what does that say? Um, Hong Kong, Fran May, maybe? You guys read that? Fran May. Google Lens might pick that up. This is just a little figurine that was in there. Uh, is that a peewee? He's bigger than a peewee, but he kind of has a peewee face, doesn't he? Let's see. Maybe he's bigger. Hong Kong, no other markings. See, like he's stained. Nancy Hanks, the mother of Abraham Lincoln, dressed like this, Brown County folks. So this is probably just a um, folk art plush handmade deal. It's this one that's got a tag on it. It says, Holly Hobby's friend, Heather. So we all know that some Holly Hobby can definitely be a bolo, if this is or not. I don't know. I know vintage fabric is. I have a video on vintage fabrics. Uh, she does have a little stain on her face. Let's see if we can find like a date. Oh, this is Knickerbocker. I'm guessing it's probably vintage. Holly Hobby's friend. Do a little research on her. This one, I don't know. Looks um, like some sort of generic. Hong Kong. It just says Hong Kong. It's not a peewee. You can see the difference. Uh, Japan on the feet. Look at her little face. 784 Japan. Don't know. This here says 
Bradley Dolls, Korea. Um, Miss May, Bradley Dolls. That should be easy to look up. Guessing she'll just be a bread and butter. This little guy right here, huh? He's like a 1978, the first years, you guys. It's a little uh, squeaky toy. 1978, can you believe it? That is like almost, I'm almost that old. Okay, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, that's all it says. Hmm, I feel like she could be something. Let's see, she's like one of those dolls that the hair grows, you know, but her hair doesn't grow. It's kind of what they look like. They have a ponytail and you can pull it out. Um, this one says, it says something here. Let me see if I can get it to focus in. Hong Kong. Oh, I really want to see. UD, I think. Is that Unida Corp? UD Corp? I don't know. We'll have to do a little more research on her. This is a Barbie. Brand. This is a little, I don't know what she is. No marking. Okay, what do we got here? Her little dress has something on it made in Hong Kong and it says, I think it says Playmates. Let's see who this is. This one says Mattel 1977. And then her back says 1976. So probably just a patent date. Um, have to verify the actual date. This little lady is Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong. So just another generic brand. You can see like the plastic mold lines. Her head's pretty, sometimes the, um, their heads squeeze. Like see how this one squeezes? This one doesn't, this one doesn't really either. Okay, this, look at her eyelashes. Woo-wee. Um, this one has a something. This is another, is it Unita, Unita? Not sure, but it's a doll. There she is. Don't think this dress is original to her because it's way longer than her legs. Here is another one. This kind of, it's got that plastic mold, um, like the other one there, made in Hong Kong, same thing. This one, her face paint must be missing. Hong Kong. Some of these may be a little tricky to work uh, look up. Now this is what you call a sleepy eye doll. When she's up, her eyes should be opened. And when she lays down, her eyes close. That's called sleepy eyes. I'm guessing most of you know that, but just in case you don't, that's a good keyword to put into the title. This one just says Hong Kong as well on her back. And this little princess here, hmm. See if we can figure out what she is. Made in Hong Kong. Okay, I got a few more things from this sale and I'm gonna bring them over and show you guys. I should have recorded while I was there, but I was just so busy looking. Okay, so this is the rest of the haul from that same garage sale. Um, I ended up paying $66 for everything. So I did pay $8 for this only because that's a lot for me. I usually don't pay up for things. I did a video on arts and crafts and this Grumbacher brand is one that I kept seeing over and over and over that went high dollar. So fingers crossed, this is going to be a bolo. I will pop up a screen share of how I listed it because by the time I post this, I will have these items listed. Um, it looks like everything is in there and it's got this original thing here. I don't know. I'm really hoping it's gonna be a big money bolo, but I just am not certain until I look printed in Japan. But super excited about this one. I've been wanting to find some vintage art supplies because I love a teaching moment. So stay tuned for that. This is a brand that I like to pick up. It is Heartstone. This is dated 1988. Um, I have not found a heart bowl. 
but I typically pick up Hearthstone mugs. They're usually a bread and butter, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Um, but for a buck, I think I can sell this. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This next item here, I just, I had to grab it. It was a dollar and I don't know if it's going to be anything or not, but it has this uh, little, I'm guessing it's maybe hand painted. It sure looks like it, but here's what it says. It says Italy and then it says 320, 301. So I'm guessing a limited number were made. I was trying to use Google Lens while I was at the sale, but I was not getting any reception. So I don't know, I figure for a buck, it's gotta be worth something, right? So. All right, this one right here like caught my attention. I'm like, Richard Simmons, baby rose doll set? Like, what is that? Um, I had to figure out how to get this thing unattached. You have to like straighten it out and it locks, but look at this little doll. Oh my gosh. It's got this itty bitty pacifier. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but even if it's not a bolo, how cute is it? This is broken, unfortunately. Um, she's got her little teddy bear here, but you can see it says uh, collection of the masters, Richard, Richard Simmons, 2001. I don't know. It may be good, it may not. We got these little blocks down here. All I know is it is really, really cute. So, gotta look that one up. I, I it might be resin. Not 100% sure what it is, but isn't it cute? It's got its own little carry case and everything. All the little outfits, you can dress it. So cute. So we'll see. Four bucks is what I paid for that. Okay, this caught my eye because, again, I just did a video on arts and crafts and I know that pencils and pens and different art supplies can do really well. And this says 1930s, 1940s, and I paid $6 for all of these pencil pouches. Look how cute this is. It says, happy school days. I don't know if it was 10 cents back in the day. So I paid six bucks for all of these, but wait, check this out. It's got this vintage ruler and this old eraser that's like hard as rock. How cute is that? So cute. All right, let's see. I did look at the top two just to see if they had anything in them. This has some, um, I didn't look at the, I, I saw that there was stuff in it, but. Hmm. Broadhaven. So some vintage crayons here. Eagle Pencil Company. And then it's got this vintage ruler. So um, this says Eagle Pencil Company. So they're not in great condition, but I just thought they were really cool. This one says Lucky School Kit. And it's got these little crayons in it. I will probably just leave these in here and sell it like that. It kind of just adds to the um, just coolness of the item. And this is Eagle Pencil Company as well, made in the USA. So I did not look at this one while I was there. And I did not look at this one, so. What, oh, is there treasure in here? I didn't even look at this one, I'm so excited. Are you ready? <gasps> wah, wah. <laughs> just some crayons. Some used up crayons. Oh, how does this? Is there something underneath? Oh, it's a drawer. Okay, I'm really confused. What is that? Well, we'll get that out of there. That's like broken something. So I guess that just slides in. I really want to see if there's hidden treasure. Oh, um, hmm, that's weird. Looks like somebody's you see those wood things in there? I wonder if there's any. Just maybe to hold it up, hold it in place. Okay, so, I don't know, still cool. It's got this little pull right here, so put a little bit of stuff in there. I thought it would go all the way to the end, but it doesn't. All right, so those are just kind of cool. I don't know if they'll be worth much or not, but definitely something cool to look up. Um, I did buy these. These were a dollar each, and the reason I bought them is because they are sealed, 
and they are from a series and the series is castle this is the first and second season so depending on what they are valued at um, i may list them together or separately i haven't quite decided i used to watch that show okay now we're going to get into this bag of goodies so i got a bag here all right i did pick up this um it's muffy which is a um oh what do you call it it's a bear and the reason i picked this up is because it's a uh, muffy vander bear it's new old stock it's probably not going to be worth a whole lot i might be maybe eight to fifteen dollars we'll have to see i'll pop up a screen share of how i listed it uh but it was 50 cents this little guy i did pick up because it's hilarious the tongue is out and it is so funny and cute again some things i look up some things i don't um i did do i did look this one up i can't remember what it's called now just because i was curious um and i can't remember now so i will pop up a screen share to to help you guys learn see i i looked it up there had it in my head and i already forgot so um okay so we've got some jewelry down here um this i picked up because it was halloween um in nature and it is signed but i think it's tana t-a-n-a it's not perfect. It's got some scuffing here, but I think I can still sell it. So it's a brooch. It was $2. I did pay up a little bit more than I usually like to pay for jewelry. This one, however, was only 50 cents and it is marked Disney. Did not research or look these up. This one I paid $2 for. I just thought it was really beautiful and different. Uh, I have, it's not signed or any. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It is signed LC. I don't think that's Lauren Conrad. I guess it could be. I know LC can be Lauren Conrad. I thought this was an older piece, but maybe not. So I paid two for that. This one right here was $2 and I did look at the back of it. I did look this one up. Comps were kind of all over the place, but I figured I could make a little bit regardless. Um, I will have to do more research to figure out value but it says far fetched. That is the brand. And again, for two bucks, I was willing to take a chance. I saw others in this brand, but I did not see the dog in the pack. All right. This one is marked West Germany on the back. It's kind of got, I think it's called filigree. Uh, this is a scarf clip, West Germany. And I did pay $2 and 50 cents for that. They're calling it a purse or hat brooch. I would call it a scarf clip, but no idea. All right, this belt buckle was $3 and I bought it because of the nature of the, you know, the deer, the bucks, and it is solid brass. So I figured three bucks is a little more than I like to pay, but it's brass and it's kind of got that hunter type style stuff. Uh, this I just thought was pretty, and it looks really old. I have no idea. I'm hoping Google Lens is going to produce something for me. It is not signed, but you can see right here how the pin goes past. That tells you that it's vintage. It also has the old kind that doesn't shut. So this one doesn't stay shut very well, but I'm guessing this is pretty old, and it's just beautiful. So it's pretty interesting. That was $2. This next one here is also vintage. I believe it's Mother of Pearl and it's stuck to my, stuck to my ring light. Um, it says Mother and it's got the birds behind it, which I think are Mother of Pearl. Don't quote me on that. I am definitely not an expert on jewelry. I know very little about it actually, but again, it's got the vintage clasp on it and this has something on, no, I thought it had something on the backside. It doesn't. So that I don't know. I paid two bucks for it. I may have overpaid, but let's see. Is there anything else? Um, I did pick this up. It is Arbonne. Um, it is essential oil and it's peppermint. And I use that for my migraines. So that was two bucks. So that was definitely a win for myself. I don't know if this stuff expires or not, but that's a personal purchase there. But definitely probably would have some resale value for sure. 
All right, let's go into this other bag here. One of the items broke as we were checking out, so a little bummed about that, but she gave me a discount. Um, it is this vintage, uh, it says Key Toy Moves. It was marked down to three bucks and she gave it to me for a dollar because it broke. It's also cracked here, I didn't see that, so that's a bummer. Um, made in Japan, but the duck was attached. Uh, I can probably just take some glue and glue that back on or just leave it and let somebody else repair it. But super cute little uh, plastic and tin toy there. So $1 for that. Um, I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. So everything I got was $65. How do you guys think I did? And I'm going to start listing this stuff. Thanks for watching.